Hi everybody, it is me Pip Mac. Welcome back to my channel. For all of you who know me, I'm a blabberer, so I'm gonna start blabbering about shit. If you wanna skip the blabbering and get to the juice bits of this video, which is me filling out this um, meme, I guess. Just keep to the time um, thingy, the timestamp that I have put in the video description and comment. Okay. <laughs> now indulge me. Um, how have you guys been doing? Um, I hope good. I am trying my best, I guess. That's like, I think if that's not also your answer like holy fuck lucky you I'm so jealous <laughs> cuz right now things in the world are going a little bit like it's a little bit crazy and like the more you think about it the more dreadful <laughs> it feels so I'm trying to not have a panic attack. Plus, personal shit. Okay. If you've been paying close attention, you might have noticed that I've been going through some motions and emotions. But we're not gonna dwell too much into that in this video. Long story short, this video is happening because, I don't know, it is 2.24 a.m. I am super tired. Um, I got a, my kitty here sleeping on my lap. Um, I was crawling, roaming on Twitter. And by the way, if I sound weird or different, it's because I'm using the this headset mic. Because since Mia is sleeping in my lap, I couldn't get up to plug the professional microphone, which is this one. Although this motherfucker is being really suspicious because ever since my E3 stream, where when I went to edit the, the footage later, oh my god, it was the worst. Lately, I think the... The, this um, $10 mic is gonna do a better job than the fucking $300 one, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I was perusing on Twitter, as one does, and I found this. And this is cool, and I thought, wow, um, it's basically like, if you haven't figured out already, <laughs> you fill it up with things you're afraid of, or not. And like, I figured that would spark some interesting conversation between us that would maybe get, let you, make you get, but you get to know me. You know when you could, you ever wish that you did, that you could, that you could do anything and that you wanted anything? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> that might be fun. So, and a part of me was like, nobody cares. Your channel is dead. You're irrelevant. Um, if it's not fucking Super Health Club, nobody wants to know about it. Nobody want, Nobody cares. Just give us Super Health Club and fucking Epic Loads updates. That's all we're asking of you. And yes, I can't deliver <laughs> because I am cursed. Another video. <laughs> Let's get this Starty, yeah. <laughs> My god, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> the cringe. Let's begin. Sharks. Okay, sharks is gonna be a big red one, bitch. <laughs> because, like, I have, I, I watched Jaws as every 80s, 90s kid does. And, like, I have intrusive thoughts. I have a very fertile imagination. I was so afraid of sharks that one w when I would go like into pools 
I would just project a shark in the water, like coming up to me to fucking bite my rib cage off. And it's not a fun time. Cause like, you're like, <laughs> let me check back and just say, I, I've been allowed, I've been, un, I've, I've, I went unsupervised for most of my childhood. So I watched scary shit way earlier than I should have so I'm talking like 14 year old me like just in a swimming club inside the pool going like we and they just suddenly a shark is in my face it's coming to kill me and I I would just go like oh, like I would almost drown drown myself with my intrusive thoughts of sharks um don't like them I they're beautiful gorgeous creatures i'm sure that what they do for the ecosystem is very important although we already stepped way too into a dystopian future and our ocean um, fauna is just like decades away from completely being obliterated by what we're doing to the environment but sharks are great i just i'm really afraid of them I, I think we're gonna find out I'm afraid of a lot of things in this video. Um, snakes. Snakes are also very beautiful creatures. They are really cool. I like snakes. I love snakes. Like, snakes my favorite character. I mean, snakes. I mean... Come on. Snakes are dope. But like, if I see a snake... Bitch, run. <laughs> spiders. Spiders is like, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> if it's like one of those really tiny ones that just gets spooked by everything, um, and, or maybe if it's like that, that one that's just like a little dot with really... <laughs> Like, it looks like a child's drawing of a spider, which they just usually hang around in the corners of the wall. They're pretty harmless. I'm not afraid of those, but we know what they're talking about here when they say spiders. We're talking about the ones that will bite and make your... F and, and you're gonna die, or, like, your limbs are gonna deteriorate, or, like, ooh, or, like, ooh, the fucking big and hairy ones, tarantulas, oh my god. Again, scary movies from my childhood. There was this one with spiders. I think it influenced my fear a lot. But like, fucking hell, spiders are so creepy. They're so creepy. Like, and ooh, webs. Like, the whole concept of like a creature spinning a web that was gonna trap you and then it's gonna roll you up and like sting you with their poison. Like, who? Spiders are like, who's, you know? <laughs> what else can I say? Bugs. Um, I'm afraid of bugs. Yeah, I'm scared of bugs. Like, I'm not gonna run away if I see an ant. Like, or a ladybug. I will even let a ladybug on top of me. <laughs> But like, bitch, cockroach is a bug, like, there, there are more bugs, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, like, beetles, I guess, they just lay there, but like, if one passes flying by, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shriek, um, what else, like, I, I don't wanna, bugs, Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm I'm afraid of them. Cats, not at all. Okay, finally, <laughs> I'm not at all <laughs> scared of cats, and they might be the most, the potentially the most dangerous item in this list because, like, my own cat Mia, she, like, she's in my lap right now, my baby. But like, she fucking, I have so many scars in my arms from her scratchings and bitings and etc. Like, this bitch has 
made me bleed a lot. And like, other cats did as well. I still love them, I'm still gonna hug them, I'm still gonna smooch the fuck out of them, I'm still gonna pet the fuck out of them, they can fucking scratch me, there is no escape from my love. Cats, ugh, not scared at all, just fucking end my life, like, scratch away. Dogs, now, a little bit. Let me explain. <laughs> Now hold your horses, don't get crazy, calm down, I love dogs, okay, dogs are great, but some of them can be really big, <laughs> and I'm really tiny person, like it's not really that difficult for a dog to be taller than I am if they stand up, like oh, some breeds, and when I was a child, I was attacked by dogs like two or three times. Attacked might have been a strong word. I guess as a child, I took those things as attacked. As attacks, they were probably just playing with me. <laughs> but since they were so big and I got knocked around, <laughs> I thought they were attacking me. I'm sure they probably didn't even, but like, when dogs like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, when dogs are really big, and they get angry, and they do that face, that angry face, and they bark really aggressive at you, like, you feel like you're about to die. <laughs> I'm scared of that, like, I don't like that. I don't like when big dogs get really angry, it makes me really anxious. I don't like when medium-sized dogs get angry, okay? Frogs. Not at all. I mean, I think they're kind of gross. <laughs> Some of them. But I, I'm not scared of them. I just... I don't live in the swamp. <laughs> I, I mean, I live in a building. I never see frogs. I mean, and whenever I see them, it's just like, oh, look, there's a frog. Like, fuck. Not at all. Big crowds. Okay, I am a little bit afraid of big crowds. I actually have a history of passing out twice from being in a crowd that was too big and like it was a combination of things okay it wasn't just because there was a lot of people it was occasions where um, I was very stressed it was very hot and there was a lot of people and I passed out like that happened once in a mall and another time, what was I doing? Oh, I was in a fucking anime convention, yeah. Fuck, I was cosplaying as the main character from Persona 3. The game wasn't even released in the West yet. Nobody even knew who the fuck I was cosplaying at. I had a, a board written like I would give people one buck if they knew who I was and nobody did I think one girl did um, and yeah <laughs> and now persona is super popular and not only that but the fan base um, hates me because I don't like persona 5 at all anyway I digress heights yes mm -hmm. I don't like heights I live in a building and that alone is terrifying I constantly dream of buildings collapsing, um, whether by weak structure or natural disasters. I am terrified. The knowledge that I am in a box of concrete that is elevated very high from the ground with several things below and on top of me, and if this structure, if, e if it ever anything happens that brings this shit down holy fuck you know <laughs> and you never know you never know if a fucking toilet is gonna detach from a spaceship and fucking hits the atmosphere and becomes a melted comet that just hits the fucking structure of your building and it falls you never know um, whenever I have to travel and I hop on a plane, I thank the Lord, the heavens, the universe, 
whatever deity is there listening to me. Um, I thank them for everything. I really have that moment inside the plane. Like, it's been good. If whatever happens, happens. I hope I get there. But like, bitch. I am gonna be fucking high. And like, planes have fallen many times. So, I don't like heights at all. Um, roller coasters, elevators, don't like them. The dark, a little bit, yeah. I sleep in the dark, but like, after I watched The Babadook, I couldn't. I had to sleep with the light for a couple of weeks because whenever I, I couldn't see in the dark, I thought he was fucking there doing the fucking bad, bad, bad thing that was like, I hate that shit. I, I love the the character, but that sound, no thanks. I just don't like loud, aggressive things. Um, and he's really loud and aggressive. And it, and it comes from the dark. <laughs> And it's like, it's not even like the dark, like, it's kind of dark. It's like, it comes from that pitch black darkness where you can't fucking see your palm in front of your fucking face. Like, I don't like that at all. I don't like the dark when you really can't tell what even is there. Like, fuck that shit. <laughs> being alone. Yes, I'm very afraid of being alone. And I'm alone all the time, and I'm a very lonely person, so fun times. Holes, like in the ground? <laughs> or like, what, 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 what do you mean? Plot holes? Time holes? Assholes? A little bit. Death? Um, I'm not scared of death. But I'm scared of how I'm gonna die. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Like, I think death is great. <laughs> to be honest, I think. It's vacation. It's like... I don't know, man. It, that triggers so many conversations. Because, like, are you from the... There are things after it gang? Or are you from a uh, part of the Dunzo gang, you know? Cause I, I want, I really, really, really want it to be from the There's More After gang. But I'm kinda with the Dunzo gang. So, I don't know, for some death can be exciting in the sense that like, Oh my god, I can't wait to see what's beyond this mortal shell. The experience of the cosmos and spirituality, like, that can be amazing. And some people can be scared of, like, fucking hell and anguish and, like, everlasting suffering and punishment for your sins. Which, most of the time, you're just, you trying to be a human being, go by your life, but people told you a bunch of things that you did are sins and blah 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 blah. I am a little bit afraid let's say that like I'm a little bit is kind of middle ground like I'm not afraid of death death but like I would like to not die drowning for instance I would like to not die burning for instance I would like to not die in several ways like I would just a little bit sleeping and go that would be the best one like I slept I dead you know <laughs> yeah it would be even better if that happened like way later on after a very accomplished and happy life together with my husband my man which i've been together for decades and we've had a very fulfilling relationship and we loved each other with all our hearts and we died together in the slap like naturally and went to gay heaven like that would be like heart death i love death <laughs> But we'll see. <laughs> Horror films, not at all. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, it depends on the on the movie, really. Some horror movies are like comedy, like It. It it has some really funny moments for me. <laughs> like every, every time Pennywise shows up, I am either laughing 
or thinking it, the stuff he does is really cool. Like, I wish I could do that shit. Like, that's dope. Like, I really like Pennywise. The scary parts of it is mostly the people, like, the bullies and the adults. They are, like, the true horror from that movie. That's why I really appreciate about it. Like, the clown is not even the scary part for me. Like, maybe it is for children who are watching. No wonder it attacks children. Anyway, another video, another metaphor. I, I don't re review movies. Leave a like if you want me to become a movie reviewer. Caves? Yeah. I mean, we have, like, this fam famous story going recently. Like, check the date stamp from this video because this is gonna become more and more irrelevant with the passage of time but right now like there's this really serious deal with a bunch of kids trapped in a fucking cave in Thailand or something and like they got out but uh, fuck like, imagine being trapped in a fucking cave of course I'm afraid of caves like why would you go inside a cave why tight spaces yes for all the reasons clowns yes <laughs> Although Pennywise, I'm not scared of Pennywise. I'm not sure. Yeah, like, I guess if he was real, but I know he's not. He's just like someone's OC <laughs> that has some crazy superpowers. <laughs> like, Pennywise is hilarious. I want to be him, but clowns are really scary. <laughs> There's actually a funny story when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, here comes start time. In my town, there is this kind of famous, um, how do I say this? What's the proper way to say this? You know when adults that don't have your regular average height, they're way shorter. You know, like the actor from Game of Thrones, right? Um, there's a, a guy like him in my town which was famous he is i don't, he, i know i don't want to say was i don't know where he, he is but somehow <laughs> he would do party gigs because later on oh my god this story is going way like ahead of itself what i'm saying is there is this what's the word because every word that comes to my mind is like that's not the word that's offensive that sounds offensive that man, whatever, somehow my mom hired him to be my birthday clown. I don't know why any fucking adult in his sane conscience would think that kids want an, an actual clown at their birthday party. I don't know. A clown? Like, fucking hire Spider-Man or something, you know? Like, clowns are only ever okay at a circus. I don't want to say that. That sounded offensive. I'm sorry. If you're a clown, if your profession is a clown, I fucking respect you so much. It's mostly horror f movies to blame for the reason why I think clowns are so creepy. And, like, the whole, like... There's a clown in the forest thing. <laughs> they're, they're like, the whole cameras have been spotting clowns just standing by during the night. Like, that shit is like, that creeps me up. Like, if you're like a, a honest clown just trying to get by, clown, by doing your like professional clowning, fucking respect you, man. But, like, clowns are fucking scary. <laughs> um, but yeah. When I was a, a little child, I had a, 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 a tiny man dwarf in my birthday party. And I'm sure I would love him to bits nowadays. But as a fucking, like, five, six-year-old, as soon as he came out, I ran. I cried and ran. And I feel so bad now telling this story because like this poor man was just trying to cheer the kids up. And I fucking, I was so scared because I, I couldn't like, I had no, no one ever prepared me for that. It was so shocking. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
I this is me apologizing for the man that I don't even remember his name, but like, peace. I fucking like you're a hero, man. Dolls, a little bit. I mean, dolls, a little bit. You know, I'm not scared like of any doll, but I am scared of some dolls. I have seen some dolls that got me scared. Um, for instance, there's this character in Brazilian culture, media, whatever the fuck. I'm not even sure if it is Brazilian. I might have to fact check. But there's this character called Fofão, okay? And he looks like this. Like, for during some time during college, we... So me and my friends somehow, my friends at the time, somehow stumbled upon a fucking doll. A Fofão doll. And that shit was so fucking haunted that we, I think we ended up, like, burning it. Because we, we had to, like, fucking cleanse it, the spirit. Because just weird shit would happen around that fucking doll and we just had to burn the shit down because we were just so creeped out by it and we had like modified it to cer to certain extents that definitely made it creepier probably would have made it the spirit that inhabited it an angry error <laughs> i don't even believe that shit but that doll was fucking creepy so yeah a little bit elevators a little bit kind of like heights same thing, airplanes. Every time I'm on an elevator, my mind is constantly running the scenario like that this could malfunction and just drop at any given moment. Also, roller coasters. Um, I will go on roller coasters, but I will always, like, peace out, man. Life has been good. Good times. Okay, bye. Peace. Okay, if I die, die. Bye. Like... It, plus, like, I've, as I mentioned, with sharks, intrusive thoughts, so, and for very fertile, 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 fertile imagination, so, like, not only am I getting anxiety, thinking that the elevator might drop, the, the plane might fall, the roller coaster might go off track, I am, like, I'm picturing it in so many angles and scenarios and outcomes it's like detroit become human all, all the time <laughs> in my head like all the possibilities are just and all of them are bad just one is good how many possibilities did you see how many of them did you survive just one kind of like that bees yeah, I don't like bees. I'm they're adorable. I'm sure they're making like they're super important. But like it, just thinking about their buzz is giving me goosebumps. Oh, I hate it. The buzzing, I hate it so much. And it's so scary and they communicate it with it and dance in weird patterns. They're fucking aliens um that create nature's holy elixir because <laughs> fucking honey is like magic like how how like it's so weird and honey is like so good for you especially um the fucking royal whatever the fuck you know what i'm talking about you knew what i'm talking about okay demons not scared at, at all of demons they're sexy they're hot come Come, possess me, please. Like, I would... Um, why wouldn't I give, honestly, f to have a demon in my life in any way, shape, or form? Like... Would be great, man. Like, yes. I could go... I could, I could do a whole video, just... But I, uh, we're we're on that level. I don't need to tell you. You you feel me. You fuck with me. You know what I'm saying. When I when I say I'm not scared of demons, and I would like to have one in my life. You know just what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't need to explain. Um, the ocean. Yes, very afraid of. Okay, the ocean is fucking 
terrifying. First of all, we don't know shit. We, we know like, what, 7% of what's in the ocean? Something like that? Um, there are creatures in that fucking thing. They are so big, so deadly, so weird. Like, the, it goes so deep. Do I need to go on? Like, who the fuck sees this option? Like, the ocean and puts not at all. You're not at all scared of the ocean, bitch. What? <laughs> like, even... I think even creatures in the ocean are afraid of the ocean. You never know when something bigger is just gonna come and, like, chomp you. Like, or you're just, like, some dumbass fish that's just gonna get trapped in some like jellyfish tentacles and you're gonna get um, corroded alive by its fucking to uh, digestive toxins or whatever the fuck um, stuff animals a little bit it's kinda like dolls like uh, most stuffed animals are fine and they have like we're ha we're having like an energy moment you know, right now in 2018. Everything is energy, like fucking dragon energy, big dick energy. I fucking love big dick energy anyway, and thick bitch energy. Like the two best energies, pick one. If you can have both. Anyways, um, some stuffed animals just radiate like cursed energy, and. I don't fuck with those. I am scared of those. I don't want to be around them. I don't want to feel like they're staring back at me. They should be burned and cleansed. And that's it. I want you... Um, I'm gonna save this and post it on my Twitter. At... At... Rude Burp. Um, at... Pedro Pemac. Uh, or should I say... At... Pedro Pimac, you'll find the clean sheet for you to fill it up yourself. Tag me if you found it through this video, and I'll leave a comment. This is me loving you. I'm demented. I'm so sleepy. It's almost 3 a.m. I slap. Regardless if you're gonna fill this or not, um, leave in the comment section below. From this whole list, what are you most scared of? And if I have to say what I'm most scared of, it's still gonna be spiders. And I guess being alone. Um, uh, yeah. I guess I'm more afraid of spiders. <laughs> Spiders are really creepy, man. I can't. Woo. <laughs> Fucking when I did when I got Skyrim for the first time, I almost quit because in the f like first dungeon there are like huge ass spiders, and as soon as I saw them, I was like, I can't handle this game. I don't have the necessary guts. Mm -mm. Is 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 this what I'm gonna be facing? Ooh. Just thinking about them. Oh, they're so. Oh, anyway. Let me in the comment section below. Subscribe if you like this video. If you have, if you, I don't know, man. Like, I hope you like this video. This was like, is this even content? I'm having a crisis right now. I just wanna like, I just thought it might be cool. But yeah, it is recorded. Probably won't take much to edit. Lately, lately, I've been very discouraged because, like, editing and etc. It, it 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 takes a lot, and if videos are not gonna get many views, like, ugh. I know, I know, I should be doing episodes on Super Health Club and um coming out on top and stuff like that, probably. If if my concern is views and like. The v it's not like I'm thinking like I should have millions, but like there is a threshold of not worrying about numbers and like spending your whole day or like week working on a video or a project and like 20 people liking it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm 30 years old. I am 
pass the time of focusing on stuff that won't get like crazy results like I'm really in a crisis here <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna go off in this tangent right now I'm super tired anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna stop talking right now have a good night I am um, stay strong I love you all um, whoever is still listening to me love you truly truly love you um, take care of yourself. Stay strong. I know things are pretty crazy right now, okay? But we can make it, okay? Us. I got you. We got each other. We can do this. Come on. Just get those men away from power. My cat is playing with her fucking toy. Just let's just take these men down cause th and the world is gonna become wonderful these men need to fall see you guys in the next one bye